What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today we're going to be going over Pitbull token and how much potential it has for the future. So there's lots of potential here for Pitbull token. But anyways, big shout out to the members of the channel. Big shout out to the member Rick Roo one who actually recommended the Pitbull token. So I'm going to be going over this for you Rick Roo. And also remember if you all want these automated trading indicators definitely go ahead and check out the vital algo link in the description discount code marcellus for 25 percent off and get 10 percent off your mexi global trading fees when you sign up with the link in the description and also just hit the like button and subscribe but let's get straight to the video remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this is financial advice but we're going to get straight to it so the first thing that we want to look at with the pitbull token is the pricing right now so right now we are coming off of a nice little pump you know the whole overall market pump from the march 24th area all the way up here to about the highs of march 29th somewhere around there now we have had a huge pullback in the market everything's down it's not just pitbull it's pretty much everything but pitbull is still doing good in the last 24 hours only up 0.1 percent we kind of got back some of those gains that we lost and only down seven percent or eight percent for the last seven days so not too bad inside of losses there with the money we're at about 68 point million or 68 million market cap which is pretty good and especially for everything that's going down in the market pitbull kind of held its own it really held up really nicely so anyways let's go over some technicals we're going to be doing a lot today on pitbull we're going to be going over the potential for pitbull for the future and we're going to be going over some technicals so right now we're just going to kind of look at where pitbull is going to be going next and then after this we're going to be going over the actual fundamentals of pitbull and the actual whole ecosystem that they're building they have a really good ecosystem that they're building so there's a lot of utilities coming out for pitbull now let's talk about this though so the selling pressure was actually way bigger yesterday but we're actually losing a lot of that selling pressure today you can see here on the oscillator on the downside here it shows all of the selling pressure and now you see the seller pressure the selling pressure is actually getting smaller and smaller now so we may actually see a breakout for pitbull token coming up in the near future so 24-hour market control is in control by the bear, the bulls by 40%. So we're pretty much bullish by 40%. Now, this red area here, it pretty much shows less demand, it shows resistance here, but we actually just now broke out of that area right there. So this whole red area, we just now broke out of it. Now it was green for a very brief period of time. So it could try to come back down from here and go down to the bottom of this support around 1540. But right now, it's kind of looking like people may be bullish right now. And you can see the bulls are in control by 40%. So if we did become bullish, we would end up pumping up to the 1800 area right here. And if we actually broke that area, then we would pump to that next area of resistance here at 1900. So that's what we could see. And then 2000 being like the heavy resistance that we have, which will probably end up getting rejected there, to be completely honest. Now, we don't have much info here on the charts for trading view for pitbull because you know it just it kind of just now got listed on here so you can see it doesn't go that far back it only goes back to about the 29th of march and that's when it got put on trading view and this is uh, i believe through the okx or not not okx but it's, it's through something but yeah okx this one's the okx one right over here you can see okx but anyways we don't have much info for the technicals so i can't really go too in depth with it because we can't see since the beginning of pitbull because it kind of just got put on trading view but from what we can see we do have a lot of um a buying pressure coming in to pitbull like you can see the bulls are in control by 40 percent, so we have the potential to pump all the way up to that 1800 area it's just what happens after that we we could see another pullback if the whole overall market pulls back but let's kind of go over some other stuff because, you know, technicals really don't matter in something like this. I, I consider Pitbull a community coin. You got to think about it. It's also the website. It's pitbull.community. So it is a community coin. It's not really one of those things where you want to just go completely off technicals. You want to go off the community and you want to go you want to go off the sentiment of the community. And also you want to go over the utilities. So you want to look at all this stuff and kind of see if it's really a project you want to invest in. And I think with the community and the utilities together, this is definitely a community that could go crazy. Like it's definitely a crypto that could go crazy right now. So the holders for a Binance Smart Chain at 487,000 right there, we have a lot of coins burnt, 59% burnt. And yeah, that, that's a very significant amount of coins burnt. And remember, we're getting coins burnt every single day. So there's always being coins burnt here. You can just keep hitting the refresh button. You'll see this increasing. We just got to wait for it a little bit for it to actually increase. But you can see over here with the tokenomics, 2% reflection. So the fee distributed to the holders, including the black hole, which is the burn wallet. So 2% is going to every single holder and 2% is also going to that burn wallet. 
and an over here liquid liquidity accumulation for the tokenomics the fees on all the sales and trades added to the liquidity pool by smart contract locked forever so it's literally locked forever inside the liquidity so that's pretty solid right there four percent total inside taxis a lot of coins have way higher than that so four percent is definitely not bad at all now we do see over here that we got price per billion about 1.6 you got a lot and you can see right there like the circulating supply just now changed the burn supply just now changed and all that is like changing every single second of the day because you know we, we're burning a lot of tokens every day so here's all the listings for um for pitbull there's a lot of different listings that you have for pitbull but there's a lot that we don't have so there's a lot of potential for the future because we're not listed on major top tier exchanges and yes mexi global is a pretty big exchange definitely check out the link in the description 10 percent off all your trading fees if you sign up through that link but mexi global is pretty big Hotbit is pretty big and uh we got a lot of other ones that are you know like they're like mid-tier exchanges. They're, they're not like Binance, Coinbase, Crypto.com, but they're still high up there. And Indoex, that's really big out in Indonesia, I believe. So there's a lot of huge um, potential for the future here for Pitbull. Now, we already got the audit and, you know, all that good stuff. You can go over here to the website and look at that. It'll probably go take forever to go over that. But really, what you want to look at is the roadmap of Pitbull because the roadmap is like no other. Is hey, They have a lot of things on the roadmap like a lot so let's go over their new roadmap so we already got all this stuff done in phase one phase two phase three we've already did all that now they have the new roadmap down here so the first thing you see the pit safe d app integration of ethereum qcoin solana um, cardano and polygon chain so literally a d app integration for all these different blockchains and really what the pit safe is is like they said a d app so we can we can go over here and check that out and this is the pit safe website so you can see pit safe is a comprehensive bs finance smart chain DeFi asset manager so pit safe offers exciting product products for minus smart chain developers and investors so you can see over here all you have to do is hold some pitbull and then you can really get these benefits so free you can hold zero pitbull and you get basic token insights on pit safe research and delayed access for opportunities on pit safe discover but all you got to do is really hold 100 pitbull to get more benefits and then if you really want to hold 500 dollars like $500 isn't much to hold inside of a crypto. So you can hold $500 and get all these benefits. So basic token insights on pit safe research, intermediate token insights on pit safe research, and an advanced token insights on the research and early access to the opportunities to pit safe discovery. So there is a lot of different things that you can benefit from here, just holding it. And then, you know, pit swap, they have pit swap, they have pit stop, pit farm, pit safe. So pit swap being, you know, the swap for them, you know, the swap, just like pancake swap, all that. And then the pit stop for investors, one stop place where you can see your earnings from holdings, charts and transactions. So it's kind of like their own dashboard. And on top of that, you can also see the charts. And then you got the pit farm. So you can farm NFTs, points to buy NFTs by providing pit BNB liquidity and then pit safe. And that's pretty much where we're on now is the BSC DeFi asset manager. Now, over here, you can see the pit safe research, pit safe discover, and pit safe liquidity locker, pit safe launcher. There's a lot of different things that, that is going on with Pitbull. So if you're not really tapped in with Pitbull, it's probably something that you want to get tapped into because the ecosystem is so vast. Like you, we really can't even go over the whole thing in one video. They just have so much going on. And then you got Pit Mag. So are you ready? The all new community owned pit magazine, the pit mag. So they have a whole magazine play page. They literally have a song that just now came out. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out too. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on on this pit mag. So if you want to come here and read all this, you can. It'll be way too much for me to go over, but it's pretty much the community of magazine for the community. So this is actually pretty good, uh, pretty solid magazine here that they have. So this is pretty cool. Now, moving on from the pit mag, we also got the pit stop. So over here, you can see the prize pool is 566 million pit. So that's a lot right there. And right now, everything's just going crazy. It's like 4% is burned forever to black hole. 1% goes to announcer wallet. 1% goes to owner wallet. 5% is rolled over for the next game. And 89% goes to the winner. So minimum of three players to announce winner. So really, you could, you could join this prize pool if you want. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is connect your wallet and you just connect it up there and then put the total amount, which is 3 billion pit you could put. So, yeah, or I mean, look, you, you can do it as much as you want, really. But that's just, you know, it depends on how many times you want to enter yourself in there. 
But yeah, there's a lot of different uh, possibilities here with Pit Stop. And then you can also see over here, they got Pit Swap. <laughs> they got the Fund, which is coming soon. They got the Lottery, which we just now looked at. And they got the Charts, which is the Pit Stop. So you got this whole thing called the Pit Stop. You got all these different utilities for Pitbull Token. And over here is the actual swap. If you want to go up here and swap some coins, all you got to do, connect your wallet right here. You can use Wallet Connect. You can even do it directly through Trust Wallet. So there's a lot of potential here. So moving on from here, you also got the pit farm. If you want to do all that farming stuff, I don't really do farming myself, but uh, you could come here and do that if you want. So the pit farm, the pit bull farm is a farm with your pit bull token and earn some NFC points to redeem NFCs, all that good stuff. I don't really do too much NFTs. I made a few, but I haven't even released those NFTs and I might do it in the future. But um, anyways, you can look at the charts here if you want. It's not showing up right now, but that's why I just use... Um, that's why I just use the uh, trading view charts. But uh, over here, you got the pit mag. We just now went over the NFT collection, pit discovery, the app, and uh, strategic partnerships. And they're going to be doing updates to all this new stuff soon. So the pit charts, where we just now seen product ads su submit, and they're going to be charging people ads or ad rates to put their ads on the charts. So that's going to be another utility and another source of income for Pitbull token, which will then help the marketing out a lot for Pitbull token. So there's a lot of potential here and you can see the partnerships and donations to, to animal shelters and stuff like that, kind of like baby doge and uh pit games launch will be coming out as well. We're going to have a lot of stuff coming out, big games, integration into metaverse and augmented reality and metaverse. So the pit store, a merchant website launch, new innovative pit bull NFT series, the pit games. We already went of that pits evolution into governance token. They're going to be making governance token and expanding pitbull network across the globe so then over here listings on tier one exchanges so that'd be like your binance your um coinbase crypto.com voyager kraken all that good stuff so those those won't come until later but i definitely think that people could get listed to every single one of those i just met especially like with how they've been moving like i know a lot of people say tokenomics coins will never be listed to Binance, but I just don't believe that to be true. They're going to do it eventually. They're going to start doing it eventually. Every single new Binance coin is literally doing this tax fee structure where the taxes help build the coin in the community. So it's literally the community is really building the crypto through the taxes that we're paying. It's kind of like how we're like the government, how we're paying taxes to the government. Like we literally built this world with our tax money. So you got to look at the same thing with crypto. So more down here, Pit Telegram price bot launch for all crypto projects. And then over here, marketing push campaigns, press releases on top news networks and wires globally, and more listing pit on decentralized exchanges, uh, swaps and pools, and pit stop performance upgrade, multiple pit burn events, the white paper update version 2.0 with new developments and more language options and production of pit merchandise and 60% of total supplies burn with transactions, pitbull staking in decentralized exchange and centralized exchanges. So the staking is coming, which is going to be really big. And then a whole play to earn game. So pit play to earn gaming model, pit PTUE gaming system, and then pit DAO launch community proposed and community voting, and then online pit payments. So also with the online pit payments, we just now got a new partnership here with now payments so now pitbull can now be used on now payments so you can literally use pitbull to pay for things literally the whole the whole entire roadmap that they've been talking about they've been slowly but surely doing all of this stuff and these utilities are really coming out at a fast pace and they're this is really big for cryptos like when you see developers actually act out on what they're saying that they're going to do actually doing things then that's when you can tell this is a serious project. Literally, almost everything we went over, they've already done it, and they're just doing updates to it, like Pit Safe, Pit Mag, the um, the, th the NFT collections, the uh, the Pit Discovery, which is gonna um, take a little bit longer, but the strategic partnerships, the Pit Charts, the Pitbull NFTs, like almost everything that they're talking about, that they're gonna do, they're they're already doing, or they've already came out with. So. It's one of those things where, like, you just know that it's a legit project. Like, phase one already done, phase two already done, phase three already done. They did everything they said they were going to do. Now, moving on from here, I kind of want to go to their uh, Twitter page here because there's actually a lot of 
big stuff coming out for Pitbull on the Twitter page. So the first thing that we got over here is this so 136.5 trillion uh, pit burned last month. So there's lots of Pitbull being burned and pretty much one of the top burners on the finance smart chain. So 59.48% total burn. The top BNB chain burner over 275 trillion pit burn just in 2022. So the top burner for 2022 is Pitbull. So that's literally huge. And then we got all these different listings that are that have been coming out for Pitbull as well. So we're getting listed on to D apps. We're getting listed on to exchanges, centralized and decentralized exchanges, like getting lots of stuff happening here inside of Pitbull. So the next thing over here, Femex says, which coin would you like to trade on next? And most people said Pitbull. So most people want Pitbull on there out of 18,000 votes. Most of it went to Pitbull. So that's pretty big as well. So over here, you can even see that they tagged Pitbull inside of it because, uh, yeah, Pitbull is about to be listed on, on this exchange here. And if you don't know about Femex, they're actually inside of Singapore, I believe. So, yeah, they're one of the largest, if not the largest, exchange in Singapore. That's actually pretty big. So, over here, we got Bitcoin. Congratulations. Pitbull has just now been listening to Bitcoin. So, now we got Bitcoin on here, which is a small exchange. But still, it's another avenue for volume to come through Pitbull. And then we just now got accepted to add payments. So, yeah, there's lots of good stuff going on for Pitbull. Like I said, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to go dump your money in Pitbull. I'm just telling you that it does have huge potential for the future. Big shout out to the member Rick Rue for recommending this to me. If you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and join and I'll go over any crypto that you want me to go over. But yeah, definitely hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And as always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.